let's see if I can find me. Hello, everybody. Why can I never find myself on here just lately? Hmm. Hello. It's not coming up as me. Come on. Oh, there we go. Yay, there I am. Whew. I'm having a bit of a flush. <sighs> Hello, everybody. It's a bit warm up here. Good morning from sunny California. Good evening from very wet Yorkshire. There's a bigger difference between the height of these cameras. So if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I can only read it down here. My glasses are filthy. And I haven't got my glass cleaner with me down here. is everybody gosh I look tired today don't I goodness me oh, hello everybody I think the whole of the UK is soggy. Yes, two is a collection. Don't judge my collection. When people comment on the, some of the things I have or judge, I'm like, you know, I go by the three Fs. If you're not financing me, feeding me, and I can't tell you the other one, then it's none of your business what I do. Oh, Alison, I'm hoping it's helping. It's evening. It's early evening here. Early evening. Hello, Barry. Barry's in the house. Mr. Boo is in his chair, just out there. He'll probably come in later. But I don't know whether he'll um, be able to get this high up. I might have to give the old codger a lift. I was watching TikTok today, I love TikTok, and there was this cat on who was always doing bad things and the owner, call, the owner calls him Moby and they said, why do you call him Moby? And he says, because he's a dick. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Oh my God, it just made me laugh so much. This cat's like that. Because <laughs> he's a dick. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so funny. Oh, Louise has got it on the television, yeah. Cast it onto the television. I am not gonna last long on this stool, I can tell you. This stool has no back. I can't find um, breakfast bar stools that I like and everyone I like is out of stock for about 18 to 24 weeks. <laughs> so I've got my old stools which are perfectly fine, but because I have a bad back, there has, there's no support for my back. So I am not actually sure how long I will manage tonight. 
Some of it I'll be doing it on the floor because I'll be in the cupboard. But the rest of the time I don't know. I don't know how the lighting's going to be. I can see lots of shadows already. Um, I don't know how the cameras are going to be. It is what it is. Oh, thank you, Liz. Those are all really old journal pages, but we tried to pick ones that had something to do with like a mental health theme, etc. Look at me, I'm rocking already. Um, so, yeah, so Jay was just going through some of my old journals and just pulling, you know, just taking photos. And I think there's different ones, there's some different ones on Instagram as well. So if you're on Instagram, there's uh, different, I think there was a big fish. There's a big fish on there. Gosh, I am getting such a, woof. I keep forgetting to put my, because I've moved things around, I keep putting, forgetting to put my HRT on. And I think that's what it is. It's the weather as well, but also it's, um, Dee -dee -dee -dee. Hello, everybody. Oh, look, there is my some of my bridge water. I collect Emma um, bridge water. Is the light on? Oh, yeah, you just can't tell the lights on. Hang on a minute. There we go. Can you see that better? I'll show you it in a minute. Dee -dee 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 -dee. People are coming in. Hello, people. How is everyone? What have I got today? Who have I got? San Diego. That store's not there anymore in San Diego, which is a shame. And it was next door to a really, really fabulous um, fabric store. Well, not next door, about three doors up. Um, so, yeah. The colour of those cabinets is... One minute... I saw, I saw the colour chart the other day, but it could be anywhere now. No, I don't know where the colour chart's gone. I think that one is Mole's Breath. So, um, yeah, I think this, cut, this one is mold, Mole's Breath. And then these here are a slightly different colour, a slightly different grey. So. Yeah, Emma Bridgewater. I have a lot of Emma Bridgewater. It's collectibles. They're made, they're made in over here. They have um, factories where they do so I mainly collect the black toast, which is the, with the writing on. We can see here, actually, this is black toast. So it has all the writing on. But I also have, I have some dandelion. Um, I have some Christmas up the top. And I also have, I think I have some of the stars. Uh, I have a lot of Christmas, but some of the stars as well. So, it's just collectible, very collectible things. So, do we think people are in? I think people are in the house. Okay, so. Let me just push this door to. So, I'm in my kitchen. And it's not finished, okay? It needs um, all decorating. The walls need decorating. 
I've still got like big chunky sleepers to go up on the wall. I've got paintings to go up. All the doors need painting and the architraves. So the glass has all the plastic on. So it might look a bit weird, but it's because it's got the uh, plastic on. Um, and then of course I'm waiting for new um, things. So let's see, oops. Okay, so. Here we go. Right, so there are my patio doors out. I don't know if you can see. Can you see my studio at the bottom of the garden? These are all my swingy chairs. Mr. Boo will be in his chair somewhere there. He's the one under the parasol that's fallen to bits. That's his parasol. Um, oops, I can't see there. Is he there? There he is. Okay, so I have all my swingy chairs and my budders and right down at the bottom of the garden there is my um my studio okay so i have these patio doors here and i have the blinds in them like i do down at the studio they're actually inside the glass they're worth every penny and then this is my kitchen if you come in these doors so that's through to my living room so that or there's that just all needs decorating um but this is um this is my kitchen so those are my cupboards underneath. So this is this one is the ink cupboard. This is a molten brown cupboard. Would you believe this is an ink cupboard? Um, and then I have this full wall here. Let me stand back. So I have this full wall. This is Emmy's um, work cabinet and it's going upstairs. So this is, um, you can see there's all her postcards um, and things like that. That's going upstairs. That doesn't belong there. So that is that wall. And I have little crystal handles. And then, in, oops, sorry, put my finger over it. So inside I have, I call my books, books and books and books. There's some ish waiting to be signed. Oh, these are some prints. These are going in my utility room. I have the matching wallpaper as well. So they're waiting to go in the utility. And then the bottom of every single one of these has magazines. You see the very bottom has the big heavy magazines. So this is the Bridgewater. So this is the new, this is Dandelion. This is what I collect a lot of, the Black Toast. More dandelion, more black toast, more dandelion, more Christmas. So, um, so all of these have my stuff in. That's their, uh, That's all my archer and olive. More books, more magazines, etc. So this is like a work. I don't call that the kitchen bit. I call that the work. That is my gorgeous new radiator. I absolutely adore that radiator. Mr. Boo's bowls, there's his uh, tea bowl, there's his water bowl, and that's Rex's bowl as well. So this is my little island. I love having drawers. That's one of my pan drawers. I love having drawers for organizing. So that's that there. His uh, litter box is having a cupboard built like this to go over the top. So he'll, he'll have his own little cupboard. I bought this about six years ago, ready for my kitchen. I've been planning this kitchen for 15 years, saving up for about 12. So I have that there. And then, um, so this is the other side of my kitchen. So this is all, this is all the waste bins uh, under the sink. That's the dishwasher. So that's what it looks like from the other side. So you ignore the chest of drawers there. And uh, that's it. That's my kitchen. Out there is my, I have, um, I have a big fridge freezer and I have a utility room and then I have um, a toilet out there as well. So that is my kitchen. Um, there's my dandelion pitcher waiting to go up on the wall. And this wall here is going to have like sleepers, um, like sleeper shelves to put my chunkier to put my chunkier pottery um oh i didn't do this bit so yeah there's the dandelion picture and then this is the only thing i have out i just have this out 
Um, and those there, look, Betsy bought, uh, picked those for her mum this morning. She brought them here, so we just put them in a mug and then um, forgot to take them home. So, I've been saving up for about 12 years and it's probably taken me about 15 years to, um, to do this, to have, uh, have this kitchen. So, you know, it practically took every penny I had. So this, where I'm sat now, this, this was a through room. This was like a dining room, living room. So we took this wall out about six years ago and built that wall there. Um, <coughs> and then I've never been home and I haven't been able to afford it. Um, and so I've lived in practically like a building site because if I can't afford it, I won't do it. I just make do. Um, I would rather live in a building site than have a, something that I don't don't want. So um, so yeah, I've lived in practically a building site. So this so last year with being home, uh, and I had saved up over ten years. I decided to start to start doing it. So yeah. So those units are in a slightly different colour to these because these are part of my work. Oh, I didn't show you. Oh, goodness me, hang on. I didn't really show you. This is part of my Alice in Wonderland collection. So this I had made specially for me. There's a lot more of the plates down there. But I had this made, this Rococo dinner set. Um, this is um, Through the Looking Glass. And I got this at Disney. I was with Tim and Mario and Ted from Stampers Anonymous. In fact, Lee might have been there as well. So this was a limited edition. Um, I still have the box upstairs. This was quite limited edition, Kath Kidston. Um, this one was the first set I ever bought at Disney with, um, with Tim and Mario. So I bought that set. And then up here... I have my London, New York, Paris, Harrogate, because that's where I live. I have that in America. I have that in my office as well. And then Yorkshire born and bred with now taken out. And I even have Disney, Alice in Wonderland tea bags. <laughs> and little Disney tea. So I have tons and tons of stuff that's um, that's Alice. So, but nothing's in its proper place yet because I'm still waiting for plate racks. I'm still waiting for the display shelves. You know, all the um, finishing touches. So, let's have a look. Oh, people are liking it. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's just, just Amazon. No idea just from Amazon. I have them all the time. I have them everywhere in the house. So storage, it's got to be storage and everything's got to be behind doors. I like everything really, really um, organised. Yes, Catherine, I've got to, yeah, yeah, pay for it. So because, you know, it's my house. I live, this is my house and there's only me. I um, pay for everything. So, um, you know, you never know. I thought my career was over last year. Then what would I have done? So I have to pay for everything as I go along. Which is why. And the decorator can't come till September. But I'm okay. I'm okay with that. So, um, yeah. Alice in, well, you should see my Alice in Wonderland books. Through there, I also have... I don't, I'm not sure if you can see. Sorry. Just quickly, because I've not... So through here, I also have... I haven't tied it in there. Floor to ceiling cabinets as well, with all books behind. I am, um, I like my storage. I like my storage. So there you go. There is my kitchen that you've all been bugging me about. So, yes. Thank you. I really do love it. I, come, I just come down. I, come, I just come down here and I just look. And these doors, these patio doors here, the sun comes this way. So um, I open those, those doubled French doors and I open these patio doors and the sun just streams through. 
and then that first swingy chair in the garden that's my favorite swingy chair so that's well well actually i sit on the double one to have my first cup of tea in the morning with mr boo because the sun goes there and then it goes across to that bit um and it goes across to that bit about 11 and then i have another swingy i'm ob swingy chair obsessed i have another swingy chair down the garden so next year the bottom of the garden is all done but next year i want to do this top bit i want to do the patio bit um, and then i'll be finished yay and then i can retire <laughs> then i can retire and just enjoy it so these cupboards are full of um and you know what you don't you don't really have to tidy in here when i just said oh i didn't tidy in there I don't have to tidy in here. There's nothing to tidy. I wouldn't normally have these on the work set. I wouldn't have the stand. I wouldn't have this stand. I wouldn't have the pens. I wouldn't have the fan. I, this trolley wouldn't be here. I've brought this cart up. Um, none of that would, would be needed in here. So I don't have to tidy. The chopping board goes over the sink, which instantly makes it um, look nice. So, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, my, that's my latest buy over there between, between my, um, mm -mm, there, my plant pot, my Buddha plant pot. I bought that the other day in somewhere silly like Sainsbury's or Morrison, Morrison's. I think it was Morrison's. I think it was £12. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That Buddha plant pot. So I love that. Love it, love it, love it. No, my fridge is there. Oh, sorry, there's my fridge. I have two fridges. Sorry, I didn't realise I was facing the wrong way. I have two fridges. I don't, I don't know anybody who doesn't have the fridge in the kitchen. Most people, we have, um, we usually have fridge, washing machine, tumbler. I, my, now I've got a utility, but very few people in the UK really have new utilities they um everything's usually in the kitchen which i know you lot think is weird but that's that's what it is so yeah i would imagine every brit brit has their um uh, fridge in the kitchen so i don't know anybody i just have two fridges the girls work here i have all the, the babysitters the the builders i have another door out there the builders can just open the back door and they just come in and out the back. There's an out, there's a downstairs loo, there's a kettle out there. So the builders, the gardeners, the drive people, they all know they can just come and um and help themselves out that. And then it I'm just gonna move this actually. It um I don't have to bother with them. It's amazing. You just buy a kettle, buy a packet of biscuits, throw it out the back with some cups, cups. Um and Bob's your uncle. So. Yeah, yeah, not many people have utility rooms and then you would put the kitchen in that, but otherwise you would just have it. Um, the fridge, I mean. Otherwise you would just have it in your kitchen. We only have small houses. We don't have big houses. This is over half my house. This kitchen is over half of my house. Okay, and then I have a living room through there. We don't have big houses, um, so we don't, not a lot of us have, um, you know, utilities and, and things, especially if you live where I live, especially if you live here. Gosh, my fringe looks as though it's just, oh, it'll be the humidity. My hair is really, really curly, so it'll be kicking, it'll be, I'm like, why is my fringe so fat? And that's, that's what it'll be, it'll be for that. So... I'm not a Disney fan. I am not a Disney fan at all. I'm an Alice in Wonderland fan. Um, I'm not a Disney fan. I just go to um, downtown Disney when, um, when I'm forced to. I go to downtown Disney and shop and have pizza with Mr. Holtz and that's it. I don't understand Disney. Apparently I would if I ever got there. Apparently I would if I went to see Disney, but um, yeah, apparently I don't understand it. So anyway, that is my kitchen, okay? So I'm just gonna go down below. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. 
I'm going to have to, um, hang on, I'm going to have to bring this down, otherwise I can't. So this down here, oh, to get on the floor like an old lady. Here we go. Oh, so this is my little cupboards under. Can you see under the, under where I was sitting? And this is my ink and pen cupboard. Okay. So this is how it is at the moment. It need, it really does need sorting out, but that's um, how it is. So I'm not sure how dark it is under here. And I can't really see the comments very well, but I have like, these are all my Lamy bottles of ink. And um, that's the newer version. This is the, this is the old version. The old version had, has blotting paper on them. But I don't know if you can see this, they're tiered. So I can see the colours. And everything you see here, I have again in America because i do so so anyway so that's where those inks go and then in these drawers these have pull out drawers so this one is all cartridges there and i think this one is cartridges but this yeah this one is cartridges but i think there's a lot of loose ones there'll be a lot of loose ones in this box yeah so this is they're all cartridges oh there's a oops sorry and they just slide um, in there. And then this stand here has some inks on. So this, these are um, some of the diamine inks. And these are little um, nail varnish stamps. So those are some of the diamine. These are some of the Twisbys. So lots of the different uh, Twisby inks. And then these at the back, and all of these Ben has in the shop. So I said to Ben about five or six years ago, shall we do some pens? And he was like, no. And then I started buying more and more, and now he has to do them. These are the trouble... I don't know. Oh, sorry. But these are the troublemaker inks there. So that's that little... And what I do is I just pull the stands out. You know, I'll just pull each separate stand out. And then if I just move this stand, I'll just pull this... Because I can't get that little one out. So I'll just pull that one there and um just put that okay and then this little stand here this i got the diamine ink um oh somebody's been playing with these because normally all the labels face front so this was the advent calendar not the christmas just been the christmas before this was the diamine um Normally, all my labels face forward. I'll do that afterwards. But they were all the little. So they're just tiny little um, bottles. And they are all, all the shimmery. So they were just like... Uh, they're all shimmers. But they were just like little testers. So that... Oops, sorry. That one fits in the corner there. So that one goes back up there. And then here... I have tons of pens down there, but here I just have some extras, the ones I use a lot, really. So I have, um, oh, oh my gosh, that's the rain again. Mr. Boo might be coming in. Let me just, let me just tell him where I am. Oh, can you see that? Hello, Mr. Boo, are you all right there? Are you coming in? You okay? All right. Fair enough. You see, do you remember when his parasol shot across the garden that time and I had to go chase it? So anyway, so those are pens. There's some Posca pens. And then in here, again, <laughs> a few extra pens that I use. So they sit there. Again, molten brown boxes. I don't know if you can see, but this is... Molten brown. I have that cupboard. The cupboard next to it is just full of molten brown. Anyway, so here's some more inks. So this set here, these are gorgeous. Look, and these are the uh, diamine again, diamine, diamine. But these are the plain colours. So this is the floral collection, and I don't take them out because they come in this gorgeous box. 
And again, all of these, most of these I've bought are from the heart. I bought a few things from the Queen's Inc. in America and I used to buy some from Whimsy Doodle. Um, and I've bought a couple of pens from Courtney at Scrapbook and Memories. So that's ink. And then this is ink as well. So this is more ink. So these are big bottles of the Shimmer. These are the Diamine. This is Noodlers. This is a Hippo, Hippo Noto. Um, what's this one? Organics. This is the one that goes in my Tatcha pen. So that goes in there. And then I think that's just some, yes, yeah, some Sumi ink. So, um, so more inks there. And um, let me just put that up. So down here, my, my just, you know, cheap fountain pens. This is... <coughs> These are my, a lot of my quote. I have, I have so many of these. This is a lot of my um, quote books. So I'll talk about those. I brought these up. So I'll put those up there to show you. I'll talk about those in a minute. So you can see I have tons of my dialogues. And these are all quotes. All quotes. Let's put that one up there. Let's put that one up there. So the dialogues go there. And then... Uh, these are some of my pens. So in here, um, these when I'm travelling, I have these. These are the Lamy, um, sorry, wrong way round, Lamy pen holders. So I can fit three pens in there. This, they're the Lamy ones in there. Um, these are pens. These are new pens awaiting either ink or cartridges. But because I was having my kitchen done, I said until I got this area set up, I um, wasn't going to open them. So there's some little, um, those are the Kayako, there's a Lamy, there's a couple of Platinum. And then most of them are, oh sorry, I keep putting my finger over it, I'm really sorry. So most of them are Lamy, Lamy pens. These are the latest two, because Lamy bring out um oh i've lost myself again just a minute sorry just let me find myself on here oh i keep oh i don't know where i've gone sorry just let me find let me find where i am Can somebody tag me in my own video, please? <laughs> Is that it? No? Why, sorry about this. I've lost my own video, which means I'll never find, I'll never be able to read on the comments if it doesn't come up. Come on up, what's the matter? Sorry, I'm so bad at this this way, aren't I? Why can't I find a comment on here of where I am? Um, hang on. Somebody comment, somebody tag me in my own, in this video. Oh, there we go. I'm back. Yay. Okay, <clears throat> that was weird. Oh, my God. God, that was so weird. Okay, so this is pens that need um, cartridges and ink in there. And then this one is um, presents waiting to be re-inked. So these are Kawako. Um, ben normally gets me these for Christmas and birthday and things like that. Oh, come on in. <coughs> Hi. Oh, hello. Yes, just a minute. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, I know it's, it's raining. No wonder you're wet. One minute. Let me get your towel here. Come here, Mr. Boo Boo. Sorry, I keep... Like you've got to be dried. 
There you go. <sighs> this is a very unprofessional video, isn't it? It's wonderful. Right, so uh, here I was. Let me put those pens back in there. So look at that, it's gorgeous. And these are the piston pens. I'll put all these back together again later. They're fan fancy, some fancy Twisby, there's some of the Keiko. And then this, Ben got me this one for Christmas. This is platinum, but they're quite rare because it is a, um, I don't know if you saw that. Have you ever seen a fountain pen? with a whoops with a push bottom <laughs> how cool is that it's amazing isn't it so um they're special ones and i was like i'm not even allowed to look you know get them out etc until i've got my space fully set up and it's not quite fully set up yet so I'll put it in and then I'll, I'll, I'll sort them out later. It will kill me to do this. It'll kill me to put them in without sorting. But I need to get back up there and put this on the stand. <clears throat> Ooh. Right, let's turn it back around. And there we go, back to normality. I'm just going to give him a few biscuits. So you can look at my bridge water. I'm here, yes, I'm here. Goodness me. Already had your diet amount today. As soon as it's raining. Here you go. His cat bowls are shaped like cats. <sighs> so there we go. That is my pen um, cupboard. So um, let's tip it down and see. I don't really know. Oh, can you see? There oh, you can see some things there, can't you? So I used, oh, I've left my pens. <laughs> I also forgot to show you. I forgot to show you these. So these are my travel pens that I travel with. These probably aren't working now, I don't know. Uh, but these are the pens. So I have my pens like this. This is a Copic. This is a Copic um, thing. And I have them like this because what I do is I have them um, in the seat at the side of me. So I have them like this because I'm usually bumped to first class, I usually have a bit bigger seat and I have them sat at the side of me and then I pull them out and I use them and I put them back. So, and it should be, I haven't looked at these for a while, but it should be, all these will be cartridge and I think they're cartridge and then I think they are ink. Starting from there. Yeah, they're ink. So they have an adapter in. But these are cartridge, these are cartridge. Uh, some of these are really cheap pens. Some of them are very expensive. But it just varies. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, so that is, um, so those are my pen collections. So um, I have always collected quotes. I've always written quotes. I find it very therapeutic to, um, to write. So I started off doing um it's all back to front we still haven't got this working so sorry about that but we started off um i used to write in books like this okay um and they'll probably be, they'll be in pen or pencil they'll all be in one color and um i only wrote on one side of the page because you can see through it on the back can you see that it drove me mad um, so I, I've only ever written on one side of the page. So I must have about, oh my gosh, I don't know, over a hundred of these books. Um, just absolutely full of quotes. You see small quotes, big quotes. You know, even if you fall on your face, you are still moving forward. 
I am a quote, quote mad. So, um, and all the, qu the quotes are either written in ink um, or p pencil, but mainly, mainly, mainly ink. Okay, so, and that's how I used to do them. And I just used to write them in my um, scruffy handwriting. That's what I used to do. I just, and I've written quotes down forever, forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But I've pro I don't know, maybe I've got 200 of these, I don't know. So I used to do those. And then I got, when I got into, um, sorry, I'm just going to have to put my hair up a bit more. Um, there we go. I'll just flick it through. When I got into sort of the traveller's notebooks, these were the, the little books sort of that they had. Um, the paper was a bit better, but I still was in the habit of only writing on one side um, of the page. But I started then writing in different, oh, this is me. Lord, help me be the person my psychiatrist medicates me to be. <laughs> so, but I started writing every quote in a different colour so that I could see how long the quote is. Because if you looked at these, you know, I can sort of see, but, oh, some bad words in here. It's a good job you can't see. But it's harder to see how long the quotes are. So by look in here, I can see that's that long. This is a long one, so I'm going to need a big space for that. This is a smaller one. Do you see what I mean? And then when I get um, to the back of the book, I turn it round and I start again. And then I decided I was going to start writing in my cursive writing because... I have all these beautiful pets. My granddaughter said to me, Maisie said to me, uh, something about they don't teach it in school anymore. And I thought, oh my God, they're not going to be able to read my my stuff anymore. So um, I started, um, and this was really early on. So this is, oh my gosh, these are probably about, these might be about 10 years ago. I don't know when I first started writing in cursive again. So it's quite hard my writing's not brilliant. And I do write most of these on, I used to write most of these on aeroplanes. Because, um, yeah, I'm normally on a plane, okay? So again, I probably have about 50 of these as well. And then I started writing, um, if it was a quote I thought I might make into a stamp, I would write it in print. Like this, a group of people is called a no thank. Uh, a no thanks, sorry. So I can instantly, if I'm going through looking for um, quotes and I want to look for ones that might be uh, in my stamps or whatever, I keep my friends close and my enemies in different containers scattered in random places that won't link back to me. So if it's in a print, it's one of my sarcastic or, you know, my snarky things like that um so so then I had loads of those but then it still drove me mad because of the quality of the paper so then I got my own books didn't I so I have my own um dialogue books now and um so as you can see I had a load down it's upside down oh I had a load down there oh let me show you this one first and I have tons down in my studio. So I will write, this is a, this is a, a lined one, as you can see, but I, this is a, a grid one. I will write in whatever I've got. So that's a grid one, that's the lined one, that's a lined one, that's a lined one. I have handwriting ones, I have all sorts. I'll write in anything. And the nice thing about it is, it doesn't go through to the other side. You can't see anything through on the other side at all. You see, it just goes, um, it's just really, really nice to do. So I started doing this and I don't know, I think I've got about, oh gosh, about 200 of these all written as well. And then what I do is um, when I'm going on a trip, I'll just pick two random books. So it might be a book from ages ago, it might be a new book, it might be one of these, and I take those two big books with me on the trip so that I always have some quotes with me. 
Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Where's... <laughs> I don't want to adult today. I don't even want to human. Today I want to dog. I'll be lying on the floor in the sun. Please pet me and bring me snacks. That's nice, isn't it? Um, so that's those. Oh, that's not finished. I've still got some room left in that one, but I have tons and tons and tons of these. And then the other thing that I like to do with the quotes, especially if I'm on a plane, is I take the ready made backgrounds. Have I got one in here? Let's see if I've got one in here. Here, I like this book. Let me just put that in that to keep it. So these are these are my books that have the ready-made backgrounds in. So I use these um, and on a plane I will do um, whichever way I show it, one is going to be upside down, so it doesn't matter, but I do my quotes sort of like this. So I will write the smaller ones out and um, and again, I always do one side. I prefer to write on the right hand side. So I write everything with my right hand. And uh, when I get to the back of the book, I just keep going, keep going, keep going. When I get to the back of the book, I turn it over and I start again going the other way. And sometimes I do. You know, and people say to me all the time, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. You're so lucky that you can write nice. This is not luck. This is writing day after day after day after day after day. Okay, so, you know, writing like this, if you see anything underneath in my journals, I think I've just posted a page where it had the big head with the bird on the top and I've written with, the, with my fountain pen underneath, but this is how I write in the journal. So again, you've got to put the work in. You've got to, oh, hang on, let me listen. You're going in there, okay. You're excused. He's excused out. Um... You know, I just do this over and over. And again, I'll sometimes take one of these with me as well. But again, look, I have books and books. Um, I have tons, I have tons, absolutely tons of them. Oh, that one needs colouring in. Oh, look, I've got a bit spare in there. Because that's what I do a lot of the time. I will um, write the quote and then write another quote then write another quote and then I'll just sit on a plane and um, doodle. So, um, yeah, so those are the two types of quote books. Um, oh, I've just looked at the clock. It's 1919. I love it when it's like that. So those are the two types of quote books um, <clears throat> that I have, that I write in. So um, if you don't know what this is, this is the dialogue system, okay? Um, and so I have 16 different notebooks. Um, I have dot, dot grid, I have grid, I have black, I have white, I have ready decorated, I have blank, I have pencil line, uh, thin lines, I have handwriting lines, which are the, the threes, I have diary, and I have, I have a gender, I have something else, I can't think. But so I have all these different books and then you, have, you get these covers and you can get them ready decorated like this, decorated by me, you see. So you can buy the covers like this. These are the dialogue covers and they're a soft, well, they're firm enough, but they're soft, you know, and they're really reasonably priced because as you can see, I have tons of them. You can buy blank ones to decorate yourself. Um... This is a class. I'm sure I did this. In, did I do this in a class? I'm sure I did. I'm sure this is a class on Etsy. So you can buy blank books to decorate yourself. And they're not just for your quotes. If you look here, see this one just has um, all sorts in. If you follow the Day by Die, I haven't brought them up. Them up. But Day by Die, I started last April. I think I did, I did about 100 videos on YouTube doing things like this. But it was documenting your day. This is just stamps. Um... Again, this is just stamps, just playing, usually in hotel rooms or on, um, you know, hotels, whatever. There's some of the black and white ones. Um, and the beauty of these books, is, these um, are, 
it's a portable system okay i call it the dialogue because i am diane i have dilusions i have um the diary all plays on dies so to me this is logs this is logs of your life so you have it like this so you get the covers and you have these two um bands in there okay um so you can put just two books in so here's a new book and these are like, I don't know, six pounds, six dollars, something like that. And there are some new ones coming this year that are really, really delayed. So you can put them in the elastic like that. So you can have just two books if you want. So you can start off like that with two books. If you want more than two books, what you can do is you can get two books and you open them centrally like this. And then you... Um, Take the elastics, we sell these elastics, I think you get four different colours for like $2, $2, something like that. You put you put the elastics through there, so now you have these like so, and then you slide this under one of the elastics in the book. So now you've got two, and I can put two on this one as well. But if I want more, I can take another book. I always open them in the middle. I know some people do it with just the cover. I don't. I always do it in the middle. So then you take the last book and you can put that through there. So you can have three books on one elastic, which is what is happening here. Can you see? I've got three books here and I've got three books here. So um, you can get those, no problem at all. You can also get... Um, where's... This one, sorry, it's upside down. Um, things to go in them as well. So this is the one I have at the moment. Okay, um, I always have one with lots of different bits half finished in. And then I just throw this in my bag with my little pencil case. Uh, say I'm going babysitting for Ben. Or say like today I've been to the dentist. You never know how long you're going to wait, do you? So I have this one. I wouldn't put more than six books in it, by the way. You know, you can do, but I wouldn't. So this is what I call my current one. Down in my studio, I've got dozens of these ready done, but this is my current one. So in my current one, I have, look, that's one of the quilt stencils. That's the, dip. can you see now why some of the stencils are made for the dialogue? Because they fit around like so. This is, I always cut up a mat um, to the right size so that I can always glue wherever I am. So this is like my nonstick craft sheet that is normally underneath my desk. Okay, so I always do that. Um, I do pockets. So with the pockets, you can put, there'll be something in them later, further down. It's not got anything in. But you can put your back chat or your stickers or stuff like that in these pockets. And again, look, all of these are on one elastic, can you see? And then I also do the clear pockets as well. So the clear pockets here, I've got some little masks under there um, and it has a zip. You just don't overload these but that has um, some of my pens in. So I've always got everything for on the go, okay? So that's the first bit. And then here, I've got another book with another pocket and then I've got more of the dialogue stencils because it's a system. The whole thing is a system, okay? So, and you can see the dialogue stencils, it's for travel. There's four different images on there. Um, they lay flat so you can doodle through them but it's so you can carry them. And this all came about because I was always on an aeroplane and I did buy the traveller's notebooks, the Midori company, but I, the quality wasn't enough for me using um, fountain pens and using mixed media, etc. The quality wasn't enough, so I had to make my own. So in these books, where have I just put that one? These books, for $6, the um it's the same quality paper as in my journals okay same quality paper as in my journals so then i have um a ready decorated book ready to quote there's another pocket because the pockets fit around the books so this one has got some um some of my back chat kit back back chat in it's got different bits and pieces because sometimes i just want to doodle or i want to jot something down can you see I'm still working through the many hundreds of books I started in classes. Um, I've got some canvas there, um, some black back chat, 
um, board, more board. So these are the border stencils. And again, they're the exact size for the dialogue. And then I've got a brand new black one. Oh, well, I say brand new, well, there's something on it. Oh, I've got a tiny little bit on there. So, uh, so that is my portable one at the moment. I've got pencil, I've got some um, double-sided tape and I've got a couple of pens. I've got some um, cartridges in there as well. A couple of pens, a couple of clips. So that goes everywhere with me. And then when I finish one book, I swap it out for another book. But there's no quote ones in there. Um, so if I'm thinking, oh, I'm going on a journey, I'd put one in that I could do quotes. So you can change them out constantly these as well um i always have one of these when i'm on the plane and i have uh, i put money in there and i put like my plane ticket and anything that i really need without digging right down into my bag okay i've been known to put my passport in as well so anything i don't need you know and then i can just take this to my seat this and my headphones just goes to my seat so that's what, what these are. Um, and that's how they came about, okay? And that you can just do whatever you want in them. I'm doing a new class. There's gonna be a new class, uh, not next week, the week after. And it's gonna be one of the mini one of these that's collage. So it's already decorated. We'll probably get the details out tomorrow. Um, but it's one of the ready decorated books. If you haven't got the ready decorated book, you can just decorate one yourself first. And then we're gonna fill it we're going to fill every single page in this with collage um, and then I'll f we'll finish, so you won't get them all finished, but you'll finish some pages and that's going to be called mini collage class. And then I'm doing another class, which is tumbling blocks. So they will be announced tomorrow. Okay. So, oh, look, there's my headphones. You see, they're never far away. Never far. Also, also the journal block does fit here and I haven't got one up here. Don't put it at the front, put it somewhere in the middle. Can you see? See, a journal block goes in there. But also the, my new cutting mat. You know my little portable cutting mat? The pink one, that goes in there as well. Okay, so, um, you know, you've got, you've got everything that you want there. And it's really affordable. I think these covers are about £10, $10. The books are about £6, $6.00. Um, these, I think you get four for two pound. Um, nothing's expensive because I want you to have sort of loads. Do you see what I mean? So I've just realized, I was going to show you this as well. This is one of the um, nail varnish stands that I keep my inks in. This is These are the small ones because I just wanted smaller ones to fit in the shell. Um, and they come flat packed. And what you have to do is you unpack it and then you give it to Emmy and she builds it for you. So there's a handy hint for you. You need an Emmy. Okay, so um, it's just these like little screws, but that's what they are. They're just flat pack acrylic ones. And then... Um, you can't find what in the States? The dialogue, it's everywhere in the States. It's made in the States. So you will find it everywhere. Go to Ranger or go to one of the stores. But uh, yeah. So um, this little bag here is um, it's what I do all my stealing in. It's what I do my purloin in from Art From The Heart in. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, it's got the new um, very real inks. So I bought a new stand. I bought these are the new Ferris wheel inks that Ben has got in Art from the Heart. If anybody, you know, it, it's a UK, we're a UK store. Um, and if you're looking for it, if you type Art from the Heart, it will come up, but it is actually A F T H. It's the initials, A F T H dot co dot UK. Okay, and I convinced Ben to get all sorts. But I think we have one of the biggest um ranges now of inks, 
pens, you know, ranging from cheap pens to big expensive pens. If you go on the website, we have absolutely tons. And um, they always, they're always coming out with limited editions and things like that, you know. So, so these are the Ferris Wheel Press and they're absolutely gorgeous inks. I just love the packaging, look at that. These are not the cheapest inks, but they're just, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you've just got to keep these, haven't you? Look at that. This is grey, obviously. And those are, that's what the bottles of the large ones look like. But look, oh, look, they come in their own little, oh my God, it's like a Burberry handbag comes in its own little thing um will we be shipping it's it's not it's brexit it's not ours it's brexit it's just difficult it's really really difficult so when he can he will but anyway so that's the large bottles of the inks and again they're all on the website and then i bought a ton of these small bottles oh actually i think i've got one more just a minute my ears are popping. Every time I bend down, my ears hurt. So it's either the Storm or, um, oh, Julie's just bought a Twisby 700 in Iris with Dragon's Blood ink. <laughs> so these are the little mini um, bottles of these. So you can get, I opened it uh, and didn't put the lid back on properly. Oh, yeah. so, so that one there evaporated. Hang on, let me get... That was me, I did that. I opened it in the shop to look at it. I didn't shut it properly. Look at this. This is the problem with ink. Um, and then it just leaked all over my box. But you get these sets of three with these tiny little like blood vials in. Again, I'll clean that later. I'll clean it up later. So you can get little sets like that, but they would probably, <laughs> This. They probably only do one cartridge worth, but these sets, um, these are these are gorgeous. These, so um, oops, so it's a bit more of an upmarket ink. Is Ferris wheel press, but look at the gorgeous bottles. How gorgeous are those? And. Oh my goodness me. So that one is, whoops, double raspberry. Actually, I'm going to face them forward. This one, I'll end up using these boxes because look how gorgeous the boxes are. This was a, this, actually these three was a Christmas and it's like everything else. They come, um, so that's Christmas. That can go up on there. This is a Christmas. So that one is uh, wondrous winterberry. This one is Misguided Mistletoe. Oh my God, what a name. Misguided Mistletoe. I've been saving these to do something like that. I'm just going to put all these boxes in here for a minute. We'll sort that later. And Ben keeps saying, I thought you were doing the inks. I'm like, yes, I'm saving. I love anything perfumey, makeup -y. So this stand was bought especially. So I think this one was a Christmas one as well. Yes, Sparkling Champagne. So this, the um, Wondrous Winterberry, the Misguided Mistletoe and the Sparkling Champagne were set because every, every couple of months they come out with um, new sets. You know, like Tim does with his, um, his distress, he brings out new colours. So that's what he does. So let's have a look what I've got here. Three steamboats. One. Oh, oh, look at that. So half of my pens are fat cartridges for travelling. Um, and the other half I have ink. And I usually leave the ink ones at home. And then if you went into my office in America, you'd probably see as many pens over there and inks. Because um, this one is called um, Little Rabina. Um, because I don't like travelling with inks so I have them in my office in America and I have them here as well and again that's why I have so many 
because I can't bear not to be without. So I'll travel with the cartridges. And this one is Beaver Dam Brown. Oh, I mean, just look at that. Oh, they'll, they'll lay flat. Oh, how gorgeous. How gorgeous. So, oops, oops, that's because I slammed it down. Sorry about that. Uh, in, my cu in my cupboard, they'll be absolutely fine. Um, so these are absolutely stunning, but they don't fit in my racks. But you know, I'm, you just know I'm going to buy all of them. So that's the big, it won't fit in the racks, you see. So they're the bigger ones. So smaller ones fit in the racks and bigger ones go into uh, boxes. I don't have these in America. We've, these are brand new to us. We've only just got these in. Um, and those in the boxes underneath as well. And Diamine, I love Diamine because they have shimmers. They are the best sort of shimmer inks that you can get. Um, so these are the Ferris wheel. I'm just throwing them in there for now. And then, oh, and I'll sort those um, later. But yeah, so that's another container for my um my cupboards i like even though most of my things are behind doors i like having them to be really neat but i like to be able to see it so it's no good me um just throwing things in a cupboard i like to open a cupboard and then it's displayed and i can see it i don't have time to go rooting around a lot so um what time is it I'm not going to stay on much longer, actually, because my um, back is aching on here. But basically, what I would do is this is... So, the different books that I have, I have eight different books. Um, and there's two covers for each book. So, this is one of the writing books. So, one of the covers is this. And one of them is... Do you know? I don't know. That one. That's a, So, these are the two different writing books. There's a handwriting one as well. I don't know where that is. Um, but every book has two different cover options. And if it's the ready decorated one, um, there's two different insides as well. If it's this one. So there's that cover with those insides. And then there's that cover with different insides as well. And then there's four new ones coming out as well which we've been waiting ages for but so what i would normally do is um i snap um take photos of quotes wherever i go whenever i see a photo i do have a, a diane reevely quotes page on facebook where i post quotes and you know don't go on there and go oh this is a really sad one oh diane i'm really worried about you it's a quote it's nothing to do with my life it's just a quote. When I post quotes, that's all I do, okay? It doesn't mean I'm happy, I'm in love, I'm sad, I'm going to top myself. It's a quote and I just post it, all right? So normally I have my phone here and I will look on my phone because, again, you can do that while you're on a plane and then I will write the quote out. But because I haven't got my phone, I am just going to... I very rarely write the same... Um, quote twice very very rarely um, but I'm actually going to write one here so what I would do is gosh I hope these work it's been a while because I've done my kitchen so I just pick a pen uh, oh look at the shading oh hang on let me get me oh maybe not that one I'll see I'll get that one going in a bit. They all need a bit of love and attention, to be fair. Oh, there, that one's gone. Is that going? Yep. So, um, so you'll have, you know, if you've followed me a while, you'll see pictures on Facebook of me doing this in, in um, airports, at hotel breakfasts, um, Um, and I usually do this for at least an hour a day. I don't have to think about it. I quite often have my headphones on. Um, it keeps my hands going well. And it keeps my writing good. 
I'm at a funny angle on this. Um, and it's, can you see the shadows right in my hand? So I'm normally right up against that wall and I don't get the shadow, but my so it's not um, my best writing but that's it and then um, I always credit it so that's Natalie Goldberg is who is one of my oops favorites and then what I would do is I just go, see since I'm here, so I just go to the next pen and this is what I do on an aeroplane and um, I just pick another quote. Let's see if this one's working. I was going to go through them all today and I didn't, I ran out of time. So I was like, do you know what? They probably need new, new cartridges. Da, 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 da. If I was organised, I'd have sorted them all out for you. There you go. So then I just find another quote on my phone. I'm doing this. Um, and then I just do another one in, um, in a different colour. And what, um, what that does psychologically, it keeps me going. So if your hand hurts, who's, um, by changing colour, you've got, it's just a different one and you want to do, well, I do. You want to do another one and then you want to do another one and you want to do another one whereas if it was all just in plain black you you know it's a bit like writing an essay and you're like mm. and this is what i do on planes and people say what you're doing and i go writing so this one doesn't have i don't know who wrote this one so i don't bother you know, and then I just go through and I just write on the right hand side. And then when I get to the back, I turn it round and I come, I just come back the other way. Okay. And then if I'm doing one of these, and this is what you'll always see me sort of on planes with. Again, I'm gonna to have to use a quote that's already in there. Let me look for a smallish quote so it won't take me too long. What's that? Oh no, I can't do that. <laughs> that was really <laughs> That was very rude. Right, let me do this one. <laughs> so here we go. And again, I work on the right hand side. So this says, artist to console those who are broken by life. Okay, so what I normally do is I normally look at a quote. Um, and I think to myself, how many lines will it need? And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Vincent van Gogh on the bottom. So it needs eight lines. So I'll sit there on my aeroplane and I will, um, I'll split my page in half, split my page in half again, split my page in half. So this, so there's four lines up there and there's four lines down here and it's all a niche. It's just an ish, that's all it is. So, um, can you see there, the very faint pencil lines? And then I would just go in roughly with a pencil, so, um, because then you can move them. So art is to, and I either center them or I have them to one side. This one is sort of centering, but you have to write it in pencil first. I've got used to doing it. Can you see? I can practically centre as I go now. But at first, it used to be really off. But if it's really off, when you go in with your pen, it'll it'll centre it. You know, you can change everything because you can just rub this out. Who are broken? But like I say, I've done it so long. It's very rare I don't get it centred, and it's very rare I don't get the. Um, I don't get it to fit as well. Sometimes I get to the bottom and I've got too many words, but now it's, it's you know. And, and you might be thinking, what on earth has this got to do with mental health? This saves my mental health. You know, uh, colouring, writing, um, etc. all with my headphones on is what um, 
kickstarts my mental health. I have my these on. Um, because I'm not actually making up the quote, I can listen to a book while, while doing this. If I was writing a letter or writing something like that, I wouldn't be able to have my headphones on. But this is how I concentrate. And this is why if you see me in a hotel or in an airport and I ignore you, it's because I've got, I've got these on. I've got the noise cancelling. I'm doing this and I'm recharging. So I'll write it with pencil. And then what I normally do, because again... If you've followed me a while, you know I don't just do one thing. So while I've got my phone open, I'd flick that over and then I'd do another quote. And then I'd do another quote. Then I'd do another quote, like, like one of these books was. One of these books once had finished, didn't it? Um, and then I'll get, if I'm in the mood for colouring, I can't find it now. But then if I get in the mood for colouring, I will, this one. Can you see? So I've obviously been on a plane um, and I've written them and then I've been colouring, colouring um, halfway through that. I can tell I'm on a plane because I've done the middle. Can you see where I've written that? I've written the middle. So I must be on a plane because what I'll do if I'm on a plane and I don't have that space, I start in the middle, I come down and then I turn around and I do it upside down. So that's how I know. If I, was, if I was sat at a desk, I could lay this flat and I would start up there. But I know I was on a plane there. And then there's another one, you see, and there's another one. And then I don't have to think. I, can, I just get my pen out and I just go. But because I'm showing you, I'm just going to do this one. So then I would... Um, so like this, you probably can't see, but this art is a bit over to the left. So... Where I've got it written, I'm going to move it slightly across. So I'm going to start. Yeah, so I'm going to move that across because actually let's go with a fatter pen. Then I can be quicker. So. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not neat because I can't be bothered. My art is not to be neat or to be the best art or whatever it's because I need I need it for my um what does that say? oh that's that should sorry that should be an O oh look at that that was good um I need it for my mental health okay so I don't care if it's the most rubbish piece of art that you've ever seen if my health mental health is okay then I'm fine I would rather have rubbish work and my mental health be on, a, on an even keel, then have fabulous work and be all over the place. So that's the difference between me and a lot of you. You all think it's got to look good. You think it's got to look perfect. So because you think that, that's so much pressure, so you don't do it. And you'll never, you'll never start looking, you'll never get good. Do you see what I mean? So you've just got to let go of that and you've just got to do it. You've got to let the ego go and you've got to do it because you enjoy it or, you know, it's like wearing glasses. I have to wear glasses, so I'll wear them. I don't care what I look like because I can see, but there's a lot of people who won't wear them. They'd rather not be able to see than look silly. I just don't understand. So get over yourself and, you know, work out what is it you're doing it for. Um, these books will get thrown these are not going to be saved and handed down from, well, I doubt it, for, you know, because, well, I doubt it because I've got hundreds of them, yeah, I suppose if you just did one or two, somebody wanted to keep it, but how, how many things have you got that you can hand down with your writing on, how many things, I've kept, my mum and dad kept every single birthday card, Christmas card they sent to each other, and I've got them, and I can't bear to throw them away because it's my mum and my dad's writing, and all it says is, it, happy birthday from your Maureen, happy birthday from your David. That's it in every single card. But um, it's their writing, so I treasure it, you know. But my kids don't need to treasure 400 boxes of them. I don't think you want to go out, boo, it's raining. Um, and then I usually do the, um, the name just in writing if I can't fit it at the bottom I'll put it up the side etc 
Oh, I'm just steaming up again, sorry. The lightning last night, it woke the whole of Harrogate up, woke the whole of Yorkshire up, I think. Um, I love these as well. The, I have my, where's my black wings? I have my black wings. These are the black wing um, protectors because I'm always travelling with them. I love black wing. There's my black wing sharpeners as well. But anyway, so this is my favourite rubber. We call it a rubber. I know you Americans call it a razor but we call it a rubber because you're rubbing out, okay? This is my favourite one. And Patty, my right-hand woman in America, she buys these for me. Um, and I think they're quite cheap, but I absolutely love them. And she gets them in like a pack of four. And they're just the Pentel high polymer razor. I don't know, but they're not expensive. So then I go in and rub out. Oops, I always rub out before I do the whole thing. Because if you colour it um, and then go to rub it out, you'll take quite a lot of the colour off. Okay. So, um, and then I do this on the little tray. <laughs> and then I collect it up like that. Okay, and then I would colour it in. So, then I would just go back. Um, and then I will just go a bit neater. So now I can just be a bit neater. And I will colour it in. And I do tend to do these all in black. Because remember, I'm on an aeroplane. The idea is I don't need much stuff in my lap. So it's mainly black. When I'm doing big letters like this, it's the Posca. If I'm doing smaller writing, I'll use my Dilutions pen. I'm only going to do this word and I'm going to stop because my back is aching on this. I need to get some proper chairs up here. So I sit here and do a little bit of writing first thing. And, and but I quite often will sit in my swingy chair as well out there because again, my pens will just tuck up at the side of me. It's all about making them accessible for you, making you know things work. It doesn't matter whether you've got one pen or hundreds of pens, you've, it's just about making them work. So that's what that is. And of course, because this is the, the quality of my journals, nothing comes through on the other side whether you use the fountain pens or whether you use you know whether you're coloring in it's the um it's the quality of them so let's flip you back up oops Ooh. Ooh. sorry boo boo frightened him to death let's see if we've got any questions and then I'm going to zippity do down away off my day um, <laughs> blackwing is a make of pencils it's the only pencil I use no I write just as many quotes I write just as many quotes it's always been part of my day um, it's always been part of my day because I, I don't do it because I'm traveling. I do it to regulate my mental health. It's like um, I'm very rarely medicated now. I'm very, I do, it's very rare I have medication for my mental health because this is my, um, this is my medication. You know, I'm either, um, God, my voice is going now. So that's my ears and my voice. Um, I'm either writing or doodling or you know and then I don't know if I'll be up in the sewing room tomorrow I don't know where I'll be tomorrow um but you know I'll show you some of the bits of sewing and um the knitting and things that I do as well but I find my biggest tip for you is um have a little area have you noticed that? I, I mean, I, I live on my own, so I can go wherever I want in the house. But even if you've only got a drawer, have a drawer where you keep a couple of pens and a book so you can sit and just write. I used to do this upstairs before, while I was waiting for my kitchen. 
Upstairs, I have my mum's console table, a hall table, which is like a, a narrow table. That's just my dressing table and it has a little drawer in it. And I used to keep three pens in there and one of these books. Um, and I would make a cup of tea because my kitchen, my kettle and everything was upstairs then because this was a building site. I would make a cup of tea and I would go back to the bedroom and I would sit on the little bedroom stool and at my mum's table and I would just write there. If you don't, if you've always got to look for it to get it out, you won't do it. So that's why this cupboard, I was, I was like, that's my kitchen. This is my sort of more worky bits and things. Um, but um, so, you know, you don't have to have a whole cupboard like me. But, but any, why not? Why not have a whole cupboard like, you know, people say all the time, oh my gosh, you know, oh, you're so lucky. No, it's a priority to me. It's a priority. I have a sewing room because I sew all the time. I sew. I don't have a guest room. If anybody wants to come and stay, I'll sleep in my bloody sewing room and they can stay in my room. I have a studio because that's what earns me the money. There's only me here. I don't have a husband. I don't have anybody giving me handouts. I, I have a studio because that is my job. You know, I have this cupboard here in my kitchen because that's my mental health. I have a bag by the door which has a knitting in, just blanket, and I just pick it up as I go out because knitting and counting the stitches regulates me. You've got to find what works for you and do it. You know, I used to run. I used to be a big runner. Uh, my lovely friend Yvonne, I'm sure I've seen her on tonight. I'm sure she's here somewhere. She, go, oh, she goes running. That's her, you know, putting her mental health thing back together. I can't run anymore. The most I run is a bath with my molten brown. But, you know, you have to find what works for you. Um, I like order. I like everything ordered, you know. Um, and people go, oh, my husband won't let me. How old are you? How old are you? Just, you, you've got to be, you've got to do for you as well. Um, stop putting everybody else first. Oh, there she is. I thought she was. Yeah. Stop putting everybody else first. Put your own mask on first. Um, you know, that's what, at one point, one time when I first joined Ranger, this whole downstairs of my house was my art studio. And I had my bedroom upstairs and I moved my living room upstairs because it was so important that um, to do what I was doing, um, you know, you've got, you've got to make priorities. If that's your income, you know, if you're sewing and that's bringing your income in, you, you, why you want a table in the corner? It's still a job, make it a bigger one, you know. So my house was planned to work for my mental health. This is my mental institution. This whole place is my mental institution. So, you know, one of the reasons sort of like the washing machine has gone out there to a utility is because of the noise, because I'm not very good with noise. I'm not very good at all. You'll, uh, you, well, you won't notice, but there's no televisions. I have a television up in the sewing room, but it has, it's been covered up for nearly a year. I don't have televisions, don't have things like that. I have it. I like it very clean. I like doors like this. I like a little bit of display. So like in my studio, you see all that stuff behind me. I don't see that. I love it that it's there, but I don't look at it. I couldn't look at that every day. But it's there because it's inspiring me. But I look at the windows at the front. But I like to look, you know, um, I like to look here. But even when you open my cupboards up, ooh, this, I just got this book. I just bought this book. And um, I just bought it for Jay as well for Christmas and she spotted it. I was like, oh no, I couldn't decide whether to do it for Jay or her husband. Can you see? It's Basquat. So I collect Tashen books. This is, um, I collect the Tashen, T-A-S-C-H-E-N. I have so many of them, but this, he's French. This is the Basquat book. So this is my latest book. I cannot resist. Um, um, oh, I just cannot resist books. Um, when my when I get my um, website finally up and running, I'll do little book reviews. I'll pull books out um, to show you. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can just. 
example, this is a, this is one of my favourite artists, Camille de Erico. Camille de Erico. So I love her work. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. I have a lot of her books. Most of my art art books are in the there, in the um, in the units in there. This is mainly this is mainly functional books. Like there's a lot of Jane Davenport's books there. Uh, Bible journaling, paint mojo, that's what they are. These are old art journaling. Uh, this is one of my favourite books. Dita von Tees. This is the burlesque. And if you turn it over, it's the fetish. So I have, to I have tons of... It's a book that goes two ways. You look at it, you look at it one way up and you look at it the other way up. So that's one of my favourite favorite books um but all of these are just full and then the, down at the bottom is all uh magazines this one that's emmy's cupboard this one is um oh, this is going upstairs it's, oh you can't see but this one here let me take you over here see if you can see this one has like my big coffee table books up there and then it has uh that's all my black and white decoupage these are all coloring books which i get a lot of inspiration from more coloring books and again magazines at the bottom so all of these look, magazines at the bottom they've all got magazines right across the bottom and the different things in so it's organised to, um, you know, it's organised for me. These are the things that are important to me. So, and the things that are important to me. If I don't keep my mental health, um, if I don't keep my mental state healthy, there is no delusions. Then there is no job. Then there is no career. Then there is no money. Then that's it. Do you see what I mean? So you have to um, do what's right for you. And so um, my mental health is the most important, um, mo most important thing in the whole thing. Like I say, I, you know, I'm single. I've, I, this is my, I, you know, um, I don't have a husband or anything like that. I, it's, it's just me. So I have to keep myself in tip top condition. So my house it, that's that's the thing with it and you know i know it's um i know i'm at a stage in my life when i can because the kids have grown up and if you've still got kids they will leave eventually they will come back twice each time um my suggestion is when they leave the second time turn the bedroom into something else that's what i did emmy the sewing room was emmy's um so that's the thing to do because they do come back um, I have, I have books everywhere, I have books everywhere, but they're all, uh, you know, I love my books, I love to display them, I can probably don't have time to look at every single book, but you do, so you've just, you've just got to make it work for you, I, I never really wanted a kitchen, because I don't cook a lot, because I can't be bothered, I've spent 35 years cooking for a big family, so, um, but now I've got a kitchen, I wanted it to be dual purpose, so um, it looks as though it's a massive kitchen, it's not, the kitchen's only that end, this is more, this is the, the social, this is more, more my thing. Do you see what I mean? So um, I would rather have books and live with a microwave than cook. And you have to do what you do. Like I have a whole sewing room. Wait till you see the sewing room. I have um, cabinets and cabinets and cabinets with, with material. And they're all folded and they're all ordered and they're all... Um, because, and I feel, um, you know, it's good. I feel good. It's good for my mental health. I like organisation. I like, um, you know, things like that. But if any of my family needed me, I'd turn it all back into a house again. But, you know, it's... And also, you have to, you have to give good example to your children. You have to give... My girls know that they are as important in their marriages as, the, as anybody else. You know, that what they do is just as important, that they need to have space and time 
to do. I mean, like exercising. So, you know, she's just bought a new exercise bike and she's set that up and she has that. It's um, Vicky likes Harry Potter. She, she has all her Harry Potter stuff. Jay likes to do art. Unfortunately, she's been too ill for a while to do art. But um, but she had, um, you know, her desk was all set up and done. You have you have to to do. Ben, ha ben has his garage. You know, it's just a bit like having a man cave and different bits and pieces like that you have to have that thing and you know my mum had a spare room I mean at the end I did move in with her to help look after and that but how many people have got spare rooms that nobody uses nobody uses them and you just dust them and clean them and then you always have bedding on them because you think you have to but then when somebody comes to stay you have to take the bedding off to wash it and put clean bedding on because it'll be dusty by the time it's been on that long make it your room like like i say if anybody wants to come and stay at my house they can move it i have a lovely bedroom they can move into my bedroom i will move into my sewing room or my little bedroom so like at the moment the i was thinking i was getting another spare room where, where i'd had the kitchen i was going to turn that into a single bedroom but now the girls are struggling they've got so much work to do so that's going to turn into another office but it also has my handbags and things in so it's, it's dual purpose for you it's do you know what i mean it's got to work for you you wouldn't think twice of letting if you're a woman you wouldn't think twice of letting your husband have a shed it's the same you know stop putting everybody else um first okay so i don't know where i'll be tomorrow i've no idea i've got loads of fabric to cut i would say i'll be up in the sewing room but i need to tidy because the girls have their office up there now so they don't always tidy everything away they're very good don't get me wrong but i'm very pedantic um but i've got to cut a lot of fabric tomorrow so i might be up there if not i'll be there on friday um, and I might be down at um, the studio, whichever. So again, these topics might to you not seem related to mental health, but all I can do is show you what is what helps my mental health, what my things are, because I'm not qualified to tell you anything else. I'm not qualified to advise you or anything like that. Um, I can only tell you what I do. Okay, so... I will um I was gonna say something. Oh Mr. Boo's there. I'll feed Mr. Boo and then I'm off in the bath. Okay.